research report we did we did our central idea and lines of inquiry fifth we did some book reviews field trips and some case studies and at last we will tell you about our reflections of our pyp exhibition now i would like to introduce to you all our team who worked on this project so this is a picture of all of us at the agaga lake the leader of our group is ms vaisali and the host guidance and this project has been possible the members are mithil the chairman kunal the diplomat dhruva the resourceful one tia the speaker tia the artist aryan the young genius amy the alternative perspective litic seriously fun us up the new idea guy under the united nations development program sdg 14 stands for life without water in the slide you can see the importance of ocean on marine life and the targets that are set to be achieved now i would like to give you guys a example of a target which is going to be achieved and at last that protect our oceans from destructive fishing practices such as illegal fishing fishing and overfishing now i will hand it over to kunal hello everybody my name is kunal and i'll be taking you for the next few slides in this slide we are identifying the keywords in the transdisciplinary theme our transdisciplinary theme is an inquiry into the rights and responsibilities in the struggle to share finite resources with other people and with other living things communities and the relationships within and between them access to equal opportunities and peace and conflict resolution these are the keywords that we managed to get from the transdisciplinary team here is our central idea and our lines of inquiry The central idea was made from the transdisciplinary team keywords. We narrowed down the keywords just to a few words and made the central idea. The central idea is impact of human actions on marine habitat is causing disturbance and ecological imbalance. Our lines of inquiry are food web and interdependence in marine habitat, imbalance in the marine habitat due to human actions, and making choices to support survival of marine life. Here are a few photos of us framing the central idea and the lines of inquiry. On the board, you can see the transdisciplinary team keywords. Here are a few photos of us making the displays ready for exhibition. Here we still thought that we were going to do our exhibition in our school. Finally, we started our research. Here we are trying to find out everything we possibly can about endangered animals and their habitats. Some people use school iPads, others use encyclopedias, and others simply use magazines or newspapers. Now I hand it over to Aryan. Hello everybody, my name is Aryan, and the pictures you see on the right side were our first LOI. Our first LOI was food web and interdependence in marine habitat. We researched on flora and fauna. This is Vitel's presentation on marsh crocodiles. When I knew about crocodiles, crocodiles, uh, I knew that crocodiles like ate and then lived in their habitat, and I thought they were like really strong. But since humans are burning their habitat for agriculture and industrial uses. Crocodiles stand vulnerable and probably go extinct. This is a, like on the right downside. You see a picture of a food chain. This is an example of a food chain of an alligator or a crocodile. So if this crocodile goes extinct, then all the fish and birds will create an imbalance in the food marine chain. In turn, it will create the imbalance of the whole marine habitat. This is a death poster on dugongs. So dugongs, I never knew what a dugong was or what they lived or what they ate. But when I listened to Uzeth's poster, 
I found out dugongs are threatened by seagrass habitat loss because of coastal development and industrial activities that cause water pollution. Also, I learned a fact that fishermen are trying to catch fish, but accidentally, the uh, fishermen's nets, dugongs go in the nets, and then because of that, they may die. This is my presentation on turtles. I chose the topic turtles because I knew where they live and what they ate. But when I researched more and more about turtles, I found out that turtles eat plastic bags and different plastic items. Annually, we discard one trillion plastic bags worldwide. If we joined them together, it would circle the whole globe 4,200 times. This is Kunal's presentation on coral reefs. I knew coral reefs were a habitat, and then I knew those lived there. But I never knew coral reefs had life. But when I look, uh, research, no, when I listened to Kunal's presentation, I found out that these are actually living. So if humans are fishing too much, overfishing, they're catching the fish and some of the coral, which is destroying their habitat. And if fish don't have their habitat, they'll also they'll get eaten and they'll probably die because they don't they don't know where to go. They don't know what to eat. Also, like if fish and other animals go extinct or like not live there, it will cause imbalance. But if they are there, it'll cause balance to the food web, which is good. Miss, I can't see the next slide. Arin, I have actually, I'm on the next slide, Tia's slide. Okay, yeah, now I can see. Okay. This is Tia's presentation on smooth coated otters. So I know what otters are. I know they like played and they live in the ocean, sometimes go on land and like eat some different animals. But when I listened, I found out wonderful facts like they are mostly nocturnal but during the day they like to swim and sun bath miss okay okay explore our second loi our second loi was balance in the food web how did we learn imbalance in the food web though we learned it learn more about that and then we learned through case studies on Bangalore lakes out, uh, out of 53 lakes in Bangalore only two passed the quality test then uh, then we learned through newspaper articles Vittal and Druva and many more other people they cut out newspapers and brought it to school so we can research more about them then we learned through internet research. We used the internet to find websites so we can get information to make our PPTs. We also used the internet to make our PPTs. Everyone presented through line of inquiry one, line of inquiry two, and line of inquiry three on local, national, and global water bodies. Then we learned is when one person talked about a different topic. For example, Somebody could be talking about how much plastic there are in the ocean, and somebody could be talking about how much fish is there left because of plastic pollution. Now I'm going to pass it on to Tia. Hello, everybody. My name is Tia. And in this picture, as you can see, we went for our local research work to Agara Lake. So as I was saying, we went to our local lakes and we did a comparison study between Agara Lake and Bellindu Lake. So as you can see, here's the comparison study and let me give you a nice brief about it. Let me start you off on Bellindu Lake. It smelled terrible. It smelled horrible and it smelled like so much toxic around. Cows and birds eating weed and garbage. That's not really good. 
It was huge. Big lakes are amazing and swimming in them is even better. But swimming in a lake with so much toxic water, weed, plastic and no fish isn't really nice and safe. But as we started getting closer and closer to Agara Lake, it smelled wonderful. There was no odor. There were so many beautiful birds. It was not too big, but it didn't have weed. It was really clean and there were so many beautiful fish and frogs. Then, for our, so we wanted to do a much deeper research work. So, as Arjun had said, we did it on three different stages, local, national, and global. This one is on our local lake, Belandu Lake. We had to speak on how human activities are causing habitat loss, imbalance in the food web, and pollution in that particular lake. This one is done by Dhruva nationally on the river Ganga getting polluted because of various human activities. For example, ritual waste being dumped into the river, sand mining, overfishing, and industrial plastic and sanitary waste being dumped in. Now, our international research work. This one is done by Victor on oceans. He said that oceans are vast saltwater bodies that cover more surface on Earth. Then a then and now analysis from 2000 to 2010. And he says that during the decade, the plastic in the ocean is matched by the plastic thrown by India. Wow, that's a wonderful fact. An imbalance in the food web. When oil spills occur, fish can't breathe and birds can't fly. That's very dangerous for them. As Aryan has said, for our second LOI, we, we read a case study. This is on Bangalore's 53 water bodies and only two lakes passed a quality test. We really need to make sure our actions should have a good impact and not a bad one. A visible thinking routine on the case study that we had read. This one is done by Kanal. A visible thinking routine is before you used to think. So you will have either a case study or a book and before you start reading and learning about it, you have to write what you thought before. And then in the but now I know col column, you have to write what you know after reading the book or the case study. A literacy integration on the book reading Sally Saves the Sea. Now I'm going to hand over to my dear friend Thea. Our next activity was a book reading of Sally Save the Sea. It is by Gofen McLaren and it is how a seagull named Sally sees all the plastic thrown into the ocean and comes together with all his bird friends to try and make a change. They take one problem at a time and then slowly solve them by using it against the humans. Soon, they are able to save the marine life. Book Reflections Book reflections were a sub activity with our book reading. We did it on our favorite chapter or on the entire book. The, here is an example of our work. Chapter 8, which is the first one, is fireworks. This was when people just bursted fireworks let, and let the remains be on the beach or float out into the ocean. The birds collected them and then dumped them into the person's lake. They understood that they shouldn't be doing this because it doesn't feel nice to have it done to them. Why are they spoiling other people's habitats? Our next, the next one is a reflection of the whole book. Our book reviews. For our book reviews, we use peeling the fruit strategy. Here you can see examples of our work. Now I hand it over to Amy to take us through the next few slides. Hi, my name is Amy. Most impactful scene from the book. Annually, we discard one drill and plastic bag worldwide. Here is our first picture what we draw, a dolphin who is eating a plastic toy. Here are our other two drawings. Secret filter are the most common item collected from beach pickups. More than 60 million in 30 years. 
Other dresses and other birds mystic, mystic plastic for fish eggs and they suddenly feed them to their chicks, which it turned for the organ failure or hunger. The first picture is Selena, Sully's granddaughter who had a plastic bag on her wing and couldn't fly. The second picture was a man who was smoking and drops the secrets nearby the ocean. Here we did our NGO's presentation about humans and groups who save the ocean, seas, and marine life. Ocean conservancy effort for sea turtles has resulted in the requirement for turtles. Excluder device interim travel cheer, which has saved thousands of turtles each year. The first presentation was done by Arian of Greenpeace. The second picture was done by Vidal of Ocean Conservancy. Here are our other two presentations. Since 1981, IOI has trained about 40,000 young people from different countries. The first pre presentation was from TIA, International Ocean, Ocean Institute. The second picture was done by Ritik of Ocean Conservancy. Here is our quiz, our summative quiz about life below water and Tia was in the first place. Now I hang it over to Dora. Hello, my name is Riva and this is our action for life below water. These are a few models and videos made by my classmates. This model was made by Vitil. It was a boat, or you could say it as a model, which had a hook to grab nets under water and a Law to grab plastic on the ocean surface. Water is an essential part of all living beings, especially for marine life. Plastic is dangerous because animals think it as food. Say no to plastic. Say yes to cloth bag. Stop plastic, save marine life. Reduce the usage of plastic bottles and recycle them. Use more glass bottles to save the earth. This was my advocacy. Um, it was a public appeal to not use plastic bags. In this video, we will be talking about flora and fauna, causation and change, and human interaction. In the following scenes, you will be seeing the flora and fauna of the ocean, which are plants and animals. You will also be seeing the symbiotic relationship between clownfish and sea anemones. In the following scenes, you will be seeing the pollution in the water and the impacts of this. Humans pollute in the water thinking that it will have no effect to them, but in reality, they are damaging the water, which in turn damages the resources us humans get from the water. Thank you for watching. This is Aryan's advocacy. It was a public appeal um, to say what is happening to all the marine animals.
public appeal she made a public appeal by taking impactful images and putting it into this video dying due to plastic waste in the ocean this is rapidly leading the species to extinction the leading future you will see models like these life is dependent on life below water produces 50% of the world's oxygen and absorbs 50 times more carbon dioxide than the atmosphere 100% of the earth is water thus it is very important to have a good ecosystem so my appeal to all of you is that stop using plastic to have a better ecosystem <laughs> He says, "What is happening to the marine ecosystem and how to protect it?" This is Sia's advocacy. It's a fish feeder model, which scans for fish and shoots out food. So fish eat the food they need instead of eating plastic. So now I hand it over to you. Hello, everybody. My name is Vicky, and I'll be taking you all through this presentation. As you know, we're all at home, and that's why this presentation is online. Currently, the situation is not that great for humans, but it's good for animals because the virus doesn't affect them, including the tiger in the Bronx Zoo. Now they can recover from the brink of extinction. As you can see, most of our world is covered with water, and if we destroy the life in the ocean. Most of the life on Earth would be gone, and who would want to live in a life planet that has lifeless ocean? Imagine all the uh, fishermen and poverty people. If uh, look how much poverty will happen once they reduce, you know, all the fishes. In the past ten years, we've made more plastic than the last century. But by twenty fifty, fish in our ocean will be outnumbered by the dumb plastic. 500 marine locations are now recorded as dead zones globally. Currently, the size of the United Kingdom surface, 245,000 km. 300 million tons of plastic gets created yearly, and weighs the same as the entire human population. And 50% is single-use only. When we throw plastic into the ocean and fish eat it, not only do they have a chance of dying, but so do we, because when uh, uh when we Throw the plastic. The fish eats it, and we eat the fish. Eventually, so one of us is gonna, um, and not any vegetarian, but anyone who eats fish, uh, might might accidentally eat the, a uh, specific fish with plastic in its, the, stomach. To help many life, here are a few tips. Limit your use of plastics and single-use plastic products. Be energy efficient. Volunteer or work with marine life. Leave nothing on the beach except footprints. Donate to NGOs by donating with money, and dispose of plastic properly by segregating waste. Definitely. As you know, plastic bags are really hazardous to the ocean. But using paper bags, you don't even if you chuck them away, they're always gonna uh, degrade, degrade like a million times faster than plastic. As as for cloth bags, we don't even need to chuck them. Uh, next slide. As I think you updated you earlier on, we'd be going through reflections. This is one of them. Everything needs support, even to come to failure and learn about your mistakes. Yeah. Oh, what? Everything needs support, even to come to failure and learn about your mistakes. Support is always helpful. You, you did. Oh. Okay. Anyway. 
anyway, so um, so as I was saying, everything needs support, even to come to play and learn about your mistakes. Support is always helping on one way or another. And uh, so this is uh, one one of our reflections. And uh, it's right because uh, if we're ever thinking about something, we have to think about the right way. Otherwise, everything will go for a toss. And this links with this uh, this uh, reflection. An exhibition for me is the most interesting topic in UI because it includes teamwork, which is important in daily life. And if we don't work in a team, everything will go for a toss. Yeah. So this is like what I said. We need uh, we need, we need to collaborate. Approaches to learning. If you haven't heard about them, these are the ATLs. The ways we can understand and learn stuff. So research skills. Everything we did included research, whether it was finding out about crocodiles or turtles. Communication skills. To talk to one another is one thing, but to understand others' feelings is another thing. And this links with social skills, because you need because uh, you need to understand your team, think in their perspective, and also uh, in include their ideas. And finally, cri critical thinking skills. As the reflection was there in the previous slide, we need to think in the right way to make everything successful. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. This is a quote by Robert Swan. And look at all these provoking pictures. So in the, in, but the quote means that if I am to believe someone will save the world and that person is to believe I will, Imagine how many exchanges will be going on like that. And then, eventually, when all the plastic gathers up and kills all the marine life, who will? An average of 8 million tons of plastic enter the ocean every year. So this is a lot mm. for anything. Mm. 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 So, uh... Oh, it's good. Charlie? Sorry. Anyway, so China is the leading uh, industrial uh, mismanaged plastic waste country. And uh, all of these all of these countries are contributing. Even if the United States has the, has the shortest bar, it all builds up in one huge patch, which we can't repair if we wait. Now I'll pass it on to This is a collection of resources and information. As IB students, we would never want to encourage plagiarism. These are the learner profiles that we developed through this exhibition. Inquirers, asking questions is not bad. It's actually wonderful, but you should always know your points and facts. We became caring. We have started to care even more about the ocean and we felt hard touched by the end of our exhibition. Thinkers, now we think wisely whether we should throw this in the bin or the recycling can and will it harm the, and will it harm the ocean and what impact will it make? Reflective, I don't mean just writing on a piece of paper. Oh no, I mean even reflecting on your actions, the impact that you have created everywhere on earth. Here we are at the end of our exhibition. It has been a huge rocky road and a big roller coaster from live classes to virtual classes. It was difficult at first, but we discovered different ways such as Canva, iMovies, Padlet, and many more. Because of this pandemic, it was diff sorry, I'm so sorry. Because of our exhibition, not all pollution on Earth would have magically disappeared. But at least we have tried to make a difference. Thank you for your patience and time, and we hope we have shown you why to make a small difference and change to the world. A big thank you to Miss Vaishali, Miss Shivani, and Miss Anvita for their wonderful guidance and motivation. Thank you, one and all. 
support for supporting us for everything we have done through this time game. Thank you to all our helping hands for cleaning up our messes and still never stopping. Parents, if you do have any questions, then please do. Parents, would you like to ask any questions? Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Anvita, uh, for your encouragement. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Ms. Anmuta. Good afternoon, Ms. Anmuta. Good afternoon. Uh, very well done. I am so, you know, I must tell you that I have this special love for the ocean and uh, beautifully uh, recent. of uh, work on roads we really don't think of it but um, but i think uh, all of you with all of you doing this work it's a wake up call for all of us and we need to understand even if we can't see something we can make a difference to it and uh, very well presented it was gripping your uh, your presentation and i just couldn't you know take my eyes off your visuals or what you all were saying so very proud of all of you you can all give yourself a nice clap <laughs> Well done, guys. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much, Ms. Right. Wonderful. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for your appreciation. Um, uh, Madhvi, ma'am, is there if she wants to share her views? Uh, yeah, uh, Miss Madhvi is asking a question. Right. Guys, uh, anybody can answer over here. All right. So she's asking if you are... Can you share, share any interesting or surprising information you have learned during your research? Interesting or surprising? Was there something that surprised you or you know you found it really interesting during your uh, research? Anyone can answer this. I'm sure something you must have found out. Yeah, I found out something. Right. Go ahead, Ayan. So basically what I found out, like when I was research researching on lakes, I found out that like man-made lakes are actually like more cleaner than actual lakes, which is a little bit weird. Because like man-made lakes are like, I think they're like more well cleaned like that. Yeah. Vital, you can also share the information about the garbage patch. So actually, I came to know this information before the exhibition itself. So the Great um, Pacific Garbage Patch is in the Pacific Ocean, of course. Bring your microphone close it's to your big, mouth. It's a yeah. huge uh, mountain of plastic that floats around. It's the main cause of many uh, uh, death, the deaths of many birds, fish, seals, whatnot. And uh, there are other, um, um, you know, patches but this is the biggest for example there's one there's one floating around in the arctic there's one in the indian ocean as far as i know and there's uh i think there's where is that in the atlantic and that i think the atlantic is the second biggest one yes anyway, okay so, so even is asking sorry yeah even is asking why did you guys use chart paper when it actually uses a lot of water and then pollutes the earth Anybody? Well, no. we're not going to chuck the chart paper away, are we? We're going to dispose of it properly. We, or maybe we'll leave it, it, it after we finish. Okay. Um, even may I answer your question? Go ahead, Tia. Okay. 
So you asked us, why did we use chart paper? Well, there are multiple methods. When you use paper, you can tear them apart and leave them in water. They soak up water and when you leave them to dry outside, you can actually make more paper. So in that way, we are not only disposing them to pollute the ocean, but we're actually reusing the, uh, the paper. Okay, even I hope your question gets answered. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Uh, so may I uh, end this meeting, Ms. Arvita? Yes, please. If we don't have any questions, we can must thank the parents for being a part of this. And uh, also, I'd like to let everybody know that we are going to be posting this on our Facebook so that, you know, more and more people can see the wonderful work our children have done and their views. So they can, you know, they can look at that if they want to read, look at any of parts of this uh, presentation. Sure. Thank you so much, Ms. Anita, for this extra effort. Uh, so may I thank all the parents. Thank you so much, parents, uh, for taking out town. Thank you so much, Miss Madhvi and Miss Anvita, uh, for coming here and motivating our students. And they have they are they are really feeling very very happy and encouraged. And I'm sure I'm sure they will uh, continue this exploration, this research work, uh, for their future uh, future ventures as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for being part of it. And thank you so much for encouraging me as well. Thank you. Ms. Shivani, then I'm going to end this meeting. Bye-bye. Thank you all, everybody, and please do make a huge change to the environment.